Hi, I'm Peter Sidwell, and today I'm going to show you a recipe using cauliflower that's a little bit different from your usual cauliflower cheese that always seems to turn up on the dinner table. This is going to be a cauliflower chowder. It's a soup and it's going to be really rich and warming, perfect for winter, and it uses British cauliflower available in store from Morrison's. For this recipe, it's really important to make sure that all your vegetables are chopped into the same size pieces. That means everything that goes into the pan will cook together at the same time. The only thing left is the cauliflower. So cut the bottom off, remove all these green leaves, put those to one side, and then using a sharp knife, just push them in to release the florets and just work all the way around the cauliflower and then the final top ones. And then you can see all these little florets here. Just using a knife, cut the little florets off and just make sure they're all about the same size as the sweet potatoes, the red peppers and the onions. To make the chowder, first thing we need to do is cook the vegetables. So a little bit of oil into the pan, then we want to put in the onions, then we'll add in the sweet potatoes as well, and the peppers, and in with the star of the show, the cauliflower. Now we're going to cook these down for about five minutes until they're soft. Just keep moving the pan around. These vegetables have been cooking for about five minutes now. So we can add in the frozen peas. Add in the sweet corn. Then we can add in the vegetable stock and then we'll bring that up to the boil. The chowder has been simmering for about 10 minutes. The vegetables are just cooked. So we add in the milk. So just pour that straight in. And then we'll heat the soup through. To thicken the soup, just take a tablespoon of corn flour, a tablespoon of water, and mix it until it's dissolved. And then just add it into the soup. And then at this point, have a little taste of the soup. See if it needs any more salt and pepper. I'm just going to add a little touch of each. So a sprinkle of salt in there and then a few twists of black pepper. Add the Parmesan cheese, and then just stir the chowder until it's all melted and it's thickened up and really nice. The chowder's thickened and the cheese is melted, so it's just ready to serve up. All these wonderful vegetables, all cooked perfectly through. This is a lovely winter warming cauliflower chowder. It's packed full of vegetables. It's really tasty and good for you, so give it a try.